Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and today I'll be showing you how to create a transparent gradient using GIMP. Real quick before I dive in, if you wanna see more tutorials covering free and open source software like GIMP, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. So to start out, you're going to want to open up your photo. You can do so by going to File, Open. In my case, I'll go to Open Recent and just select this image here. And I will just convert this to GIMP's native sRGB color space. So the first step is important. You wanna make sure you have an alpha channel on your image. To do that, just come over here to the image layer in the layers panel, right click on it, and go down here to add alpha channel. So two ways you'll be able to know you have an alpha channel. Number one, the name of the image will no longer be in bold. And number two, when you right click and go back to add alpha channel, it'll be grayed out. Once you've done that, now we'll add a layer mask, which will allow us to add our gradient. So I'll come over here and click the add layer mask icon in the layers panel. You can also simply right click and go to add layer mask. So under initialize layer mask two, I'll choose white full opacity and come over here and click add. Make sure invert mask is unchecked by the way. So now you'll see here next to the thumbnail of our image, we have this white square or this white rectangle. So this indicates our image has a layer mask attached to it and right now it is all white. Next, what we wanna do is hit the G key on the keyboard or come over here to the toolbox, click and hold this tool group and select the gradient tool. Once we have the gradient tool selected, I can come over here to my color swatches and click this little icon to reset my colors to black and white. And I'll come over here under the tool options for this tool and make sure that my gradient color does go from black to white or white to black. So you can go with any of these options here. I just went with foreground and background RGB. You'll also wanna make sure your shape is set to linear. So once you've got all that set up, come over here to your image and just click and drag on your image with your mouse and hold the control key to drag in straight line mode. And I'll release my mouse. So now you're going to have these two endpoints. Usually by default, the one on the right is going to be transparency. The one on the left will be opacity. If yours is backwards, you can come over here and just click this little icon to reverse the gradient or click it again to bring it back to where it was. So you can drag these little endpoints to change the point at which this is fading out. I do recommend holding the control key while you're dragging to keep it in straight line mode. And I'll release my mouse. So once the gradient reaches this point here on the far right, it's going to be total transparency. If you drag this point closer to the left, you'll see the transparency will be right here. So everything from this point to the right is going to now be totally transparent. And obviously this checkerboard background represents transparency. So let me just drag this out back to where it was. One more thing is that if I hover my mouse over the line, you'll see that we have this little dot here in the middle. I can click and drag that dot with my mouse. That's actually the midpoint. So this is the point at which the transparency will be at 50%. And if I release my mouse, it'll place the midpoint there. So basically everything from here to here is going to be 100% opacity fading to 50% opacity. And then once it hits this dot here, this midpoint, it goes from 50% opacity to zero. So basically we are elongating the amount of time it's having to go from 50% opacity to zero. Whereas between these two points, we're shortening it. So it's just kind of changing the general structure of the fade out of the transparent gradient here. So if I drag it further away from my subject, you'll see the fade out will take longer to start. And then once it hits this point here, it'll start to fade out to total zero. And the closer you bring this midpoint to either of the endpoints, you'll see the harsher line you'll get here. So if I drag this closer to this endpoint, you'll get a pretty harsh line right there. So I typically click on here and manually set this to 50 if I've moved it. That way we get a nice even transition. So come over here, click on your gradient, just click on either endpoint. And once you're ready to apply the gradient, hit the enter key. 
And now if I come over here to my thumbnail, you'll see that the layer mask now has a gradient assigned to it and it's gonna be white on the left and then it's going to fade to black on the far right. So anywhere you see black on the layer mask is where you get your full transparency. If I wanted to export this image and include the transparency in the export, I can export to a variety of file types that support that, including PNG, GIF, TIFF, or WebP, just to name a few examples. So to do that, go to File, Export As, and you can rename your image, Man at Sunset. Once you've named your image, just make sure the file extension ends with whatever you want to save this as. So for example, PNG, GIF, TIFF, just to name a few examples. I'll stick with PNG. You can also come over here and search through the file types and whatever one you click on, it'll add the extension here automatically. But once you're ready, click export. And you can pretty much go with the default settings for PNG and click export again. And now if I go to file, open recent, you'll see there is the PNG I just saved this to. So when I click to open it, there is our image with the transparent gradient. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video, including a link to my GIMP 2.10 masterclass on Udemy. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.